Greetings and welcome to another video for the Agile Store Locator plugin. In this video, I'll show you how to create a billing account for the Google Cloud Console platform so that you can use their API keys. So let's get started. As you may know, Google has made it mandatory to have a billing account linked to Google Cloud Console so that you can use their API services. The good news is that you will get $200 worth of free usage every month and it's only after you go over the free limit will you be charged. So if you are a small to medium sized website, you will most likely stay within the free limit. However, just in case, there is a pricing calculator over here, which you can use to figure out how much you will be charged every month. I'll leave a link for this calculator in the description box. With that being said, let's go ahead and start making the billing account. So head over to Google and type in Google Cloud Console and click on the first result which appears here and you will be taken to Google Cloud Console. Click on the get started for free button and you will be taken to the account information page. If this is your first time making the billing account. So the first thing you'll need to do is to select the country where you're based in, select it and click on agree and continue. On the next section, you will need to add a payment profile first. You can click on create a new payment profile, add in, add in the details over here and then click on create and the payment profile will be added. And once that is done, you can add a payment method. Click on add payment method and you can add a credit card, debit card or a bank account. So for example, if you want to add a credit card, click on this link here. Add in the card details, click on save card, and the card information will be saved. So once you're done, click on start free, and you'll be taken directly to the Google Cloud Console. So once you're over here, you can click on this navigation menu bar over here, and you can go to the billing tab here to view the billing account which you just created, and you can also create additional ones over here as well. Now, once you're on Google Cloud Console, you can create a project from this link over here. And once the project is created, you can go back to the navigation menu here, head over to the API and services tab, click on credentials. And once you're on the credentials page, you can click on create credentials and click on API key. And once the API key is created, you can copy it, head back to Agile Store Locator and paste the Google API key over here. Now before you can use Agile Store Locator, you will also need to get the Google Server API key. And you will also need to restrict both of these keys before you can use them on Agile Store Locator. So we have a separate video with more details on how to get the Google API key, the Google Server API key, and how to restrict them. So I'll leave a link for that video in the description box as well. For now, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.